What is up, disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we'll be talking about Gannon Burr's win at the USDGC. He played so well. He was a four-horse race going into the final round between Calvin Heimberg, Paul Macbeth, Niklas Antilla, who played so well, and the man himself, Gannon Burr. Gannon was able to play such consistent golf and hit so many clutch putts, huge putt from the knee, Huge putt from way outside the circle on hole 17 to put the pressure on Niklas to finish strong. He big putted Niklas a few times in that final round. The maturity and the poise and the amount of comfort Gannon showed on the course showed how confident he is in his game, and he has no reason not to be confident. Gannon Burr is finding himself at the top of the leaderboards time and time again. He's always in that top five, top ten. His form is so crispy, backhand, forehand, putting. He has the some of the smoothest form, if not the smoothest form on tour. He's tall, he's lanky, he's got the length to get that easy power, that easy elite power. It barely looks like he's throwing the disc, and he's getting well over 500 feet very consistently, very easily. I love watching Gannon play. He takes each aspect of the game and makes it as compact and efficient as possible, and that's why he's able to always sort of be in the mix. We've been waiting to see Gannon actually pick up a big win, and he couldn't have done it in any bigger fashion than the USDGC. Um, He seemed in disbelief. It didn't seem real to him, but this is what he had to say uh, after he had some time to marinate on it. I didn't think this was possible. I'll make a bigger post later. It was incredible to battle against Niklas Antilla. It was so fun competing against you. Let's go. And then later on, we see it still doesn't feel real. I knew it was possible, but I didn't. I knew it was possible, but it didn't feel possible. I worked so hard the entire season up until this point to achieve this goal, to become the youngest person to ever win the USDGC, and to be one of the youngest people to ever win a major. It means the world to me. The crowd was amazing the entire weekend. You guys really just make the game more fun. I want to thank all my friends, fans, and family for all their continued support. All of you are the main reason I continue to play. I want to take my spot. I want to thank my sponsors: Prodigy, Disc Barn, Wander Disc Golf, Titan, Disc Dot for believing in me. Thanks to my mom for taking me across the country to watch my favorite player Shoestrick back in 2015 at the USDGC. Thanks to my dad for flying up to watch and spend time with me the whole week. And finally, this wouldn't be possible without God. I prayed so hard yesterday morning. My prayers were answered. I wouldn't be here without him. Huge shout out to Mosh Labak for being such an incredible friend and caddy. It was awesome to have you on the bag. Thank you so much, each and every one of you guys. Hopefully, I have many more wins like this. So there's a lot to unpack in this post, but Gannon is so grateful. He has swagger and confidence on the course, and he has that cockiness about his game in the manner of of he plays so confidently and and he's not afraid of the big moments and I love that confidence and that is the swagger and confidence we need on the course and then he's showing respect for everybody respect for himself respect for his sponsors and respect for the game and being although he is young he is being such a good role model to the up-and-coming players and I'm super happy to see Gannon taking in the win he deserves it he's he's handling like a champ there was so much pressure he's blown up this year he's he's getting very popular and very famous this year and he's handling everything like a champ and big shout out to will schustrick obviously he was i believe the youngest player to win the usdgc before gannon so gannon was able to take that record from really his biggest role model now i hope gannon can stay consistent he can stay confident and hopefully he can take this win and then have a snowball effect next year and continue to win year over year beyond that i think we all think gannon's going to be i I feel like people are already putting him as that person who's going to be one of the greatest players to ever play the game one thing i love about gannon is he doesn't have that he doesn't need that eagle mcmahon explosiveness to get the distance and to play shots where they need to be And he's not going to put himself in a position to hurt himself. His form is so compact. His form is so clean from the putting green all the way out to 500, 600 feet down the fairway. Every single shot is smooth, crisp, compact, comfortable. And he's learning these skills at a very young age that are going to help him preserve his body for a very long time. I'm super pumped to see what Gannon can do. And huge congratulations to 
his massive win. He shot a 1090 rated final round. I'm not sure if it's the course record, but to my understanding, it might have been the course record. But taking home a cool 25K, I'm hoping Prodigy takes good care of him. If they want to keep Gannon, they're going to have to pay him some money after this season. Everybody's going to want Gannon on their team for the next decade. So I'm really curious to see, does he stay with Prodigy for a long time? Does he move sponsors? What is the future for Gannon Burr? Comment down below. You're watching Iceberg TV. Congratulations to Gannon, and take care.